Welcome back to another episode of S Plus with BC Gaming Tutorials, and this week we're all about gardening. What is up, guys and girls, and all that in between here today, playing some more Survival Evolved on the sexy modded Lost Island server, PC gaming community server. Today, I can teach you guys how to garden with S Plus, how to use all the implements. On implements, or imp not actual implements, but the automation, how S Plus is superior to vanilla, and how easy it is, how autom with everything in S Plus, it is completely automated. And we'll show you how to set all that up. And by the way, guys, if you liked this video, make sure you squish that like button. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already, and slap the notification bell for future videos coming out just like this one. All right, let's get started. All right, here we are. Now let's. Go, I'm gonna show you the garden I have right now. Let's do a little quick one after I show you this how it works. Here's, but here's what you're gonna need uh, to get the full S plus experience when it comes to gardening, where you don't have to lift a finger. Yeah, what you will need for um uh, starting your S plus automation uh, from gardening, you're gonna want first off is some, something you're gonna want in general to begin with, the item collector. It will pick up all of the poop, the eggs, and anything uh, your dinos drop passively, and share your share your sheep for you too, the ovus, and get all the wool. Um, now it re it requires uh, propellant for fuel. Um, what it's gonna do is it's gonna pick up all the poop, and it's gonna put it inside your dung beetles. Now I have five of these, the other four are stuck under the uh, foundations here, so be wary where you put your dung beetles. Cages are the best place to put them, and just at the time I didn't have a place for them, now they're all under the foundation. Uh, they're still accessing, uh, that thing's still working at putting the poop in the beetles, but since they're stuck I can't level them up anymore, which kind of sucks. I mean I could demolish some of the foundations and risk losing some of this, but it's not really worth the trouble. I'm at a position now where it's not that big of a deal. This guy here. You want to put their, all their levels into weight. Uh, they're easy to tame. You just need poop to tame them. They're passive tame. No problem. Um, now, that's the first thing you need. Item collector. It will put the poop in the in the uh, dung beetle. The dung beetle will turn. Also, it will put the poop inside your um, uh, your um, fertilizing bins. Um, uh, yeah. Your the things that make your fertilizer. Your S plus ones, by the way. It will put the poop inside there. And your and that I, I will go to that in a second. Uh, well, actually, we're out there right now. I got him right out here. A secret doorway here. All right, these guys here, the uh, compost bin S plus, they will make um, that. You know, they make your fertilizer from thatch and poop. Um, they will all. It should automatically pull any thatch it needs. I wonder why it's not doing that. Um, usually, it pulls all the thatch it needs to make uh, with the fertilizer it has. So we're gonna, um, um, I'm gonna pull some right here. But usually, I think they automatically pull for the most part. They usually do, but I'm not fussed up for right now because I have so much fertilizer. Um, it's kind of ridiculous. So they're gonna make the fertilizer along with your beetles. Now, the second thing you need, this sexy guy, this guy right here, the S Plus Farmer, it is gonna take all the fertilizer out of your beetles and out of your compost bins, store them here, and then it is going to put the fertilizer in any crop plot that has um uh, been seeded. Now you as uh, since he, if you put a um, um what you want to do with the first time planting if it depends on how fast your server is you're gonna want to put um uh go ahead and water make sure your crop lot is set to water put one fertilizer in with the seed and this guy will do the rest it will automatically put all the fertilizer that each crop lot needs to keep them going these guys are all full full of fertilizer and I do not have to lift a finger. I have an ass ton of crops and uh, pretty much just supply for most of the server now. So because you know we have so much of it. Uh, I have two of these guys here to keep up with the um uh, the amount that's needed. There are some other mods they can get that stores fertilizer. Um uh, but this is the um this has got pretty big uh, inventory in it. So if you had a big garden going, uh these guys can keep up with that. But since I have so many dinos um over there, it's just it's making a lot of fertilizer and there's no way to keep up with uh, I'd have to build 10 of these guys and right now crops are not a, an issue for me at the moment so I'm not really worried about having too much of it let's get back to the next thing the next thing you need is this, this one right here this fine ass chick right here uh, she will pull all of the vegetables for you from the crop plots because there's an issue with crop plots with vegetables they have a very short lifespan so you usually have to get the vegetables out of them really quick before they place full 
not her. She pulls them for you and refrigerates them. Look at this, two days, eight hours, 16. Now, the reason why it's that much is because I have uh, preserving salts in here. Let me show you without the preserving salt. Seven, uh, come back to that one there. Uh, the one day, 12 hours. So, it's good to put some preserving salts in here and help double that time. But as you can see, uh, it also pulls seeds as well. So, that's everything you need there. This this thing here runs on beer. Oh, the other one, item collector, runs on Kalyan soup. So, you have to make a bunch of that up. It goes pretty quick. She'll go through about four beer a day, as it is right now. And he'll go through about maybe a couple of propellant a day and not much at all. Yeah, I apparently have to make that and we're all, This guy probably goes about five to ten Kalyan soup a day. So, uh, that's with our settings right now. We haven't uh, adjusted our fuel settings, fuel usage. And that's the setting you're going to want to adjust with that if you want to make it last longer or them use less. Same as gas. Um, now, once you get a tech generator, you won't need none of that stuff. And you can, the tech generator will power all of this uh, wirelessly. And you won't need any of that. So, yeah, the gardener is something you're going to want to have to pull all your vegetables. And she requires beer. So, you're going to need your S plus beer barrels and get them going. Uh, which I have plenty of beer being made right now. Uh, don't worry about that guy, that's not that's not uh, pertaining to this video. Um, but yeah, you want to want these three people here to make this happen autom automatically for you. Now we're going to do a quick little build, make a small greenhouse right quick and show you how to- Oh, I'm sorry, there's one more thing I forgot. If you notice, besides this thing right here, let me, let me demolish this. There is some, um, uh, there's water in all these guys. It says not irrigate, irrigated, but it's kind of a bug. Um, uh, the S plus beehive. You need like 250 uh, honey and a bunch of, I mean, 250 rare flowers and 50 honey to make this guy. You can access it without the bees attacking you. It requires rare flowers to fuel and will make honey twice as, two, three, two or three times faster than a regular beehive. So if you can get a way to get honey without having to do the whole process of getting the queen bee thing, you get 50 of it. You're good to go there, and you never have to worry about watering your crops, because this thing works as a, uh, a, uh, water, it puts water into the crops. It says not irrigated, but it is. It's kind of a bug, but I haven't added any water to these guys, it's saying 600 water all the way around on all these. So, it is, uh, definitely watering all of the crops in the area. It has a pretty big area for watering, and if you're using the steampunk mod, um, uh, the, uh, water evaporator for the generator, this will put water in there for you for free, so think about that when you're doing, uh, steampunk mod. Show watering range, see it's very, very big range for this, so, I'm gonna, uh, I have watering range, there we go. So, you see all these have plenty of water in them, because that thing is constantly watering for me. Uh, no ugly pipes get in the way, and looks nice. And next, we'll do a quick little build here. Uh, I'm showing you how these. Uh, now you're gonna want to use as much S plus stuff as possible, especially with the crop crop plots, because some of them are kind of funny like that. We'll put a small one right here. Now I've got the uh, S plus um, um, double door frame here, the greenhouse effect here. Boom, boom. Most of y'all know how to do this, but this is for um. Uh, for refresher for some of y'all put this green guy right here they're also triangle pieces but they uh, hold a little bit less I believe and they're now those will snap to S plus foundations these are the CKF foundations I like them better they look nicer but these these crop plots will snap perfectly to an S plus foundation I guess I could have gotten that and showed y'all that but I'm sure you believe me um, now what we're gonna do is here we're gonna add in the doors and I have a roof here I didn't mean to pull the whip out. Uh, come on. There we go. We got a ceiling. Now we have a full uh, greenhouse effect of 300%. So I'm gonna, I'm, uh, let's go, let's go grab some, let's go to the gardener here and grab some seeds. If I have any on me already, I don't think I do. No, I do not. So let's go and grab some seeds from the gardener. And we'll grab a fertilizer and we'll show you how that all works out. Let's grab one fertilizer. And we'll grab a uh, random seed from the gardeners. Grab that one right there. Now you're saying it says not irrigated, but 600 water. That is that beehive working. So I'm going to put this uh, put this in here. I'm going to put this in here. And it should now be seeded. And it should, and eventually, uh, that, uh, uh, the uh, farmer will put the more fertilizer, will fill this up with fertilizer. So I just gotta let it set for a second and it should do that by itself. 
and it will grow. And that's pretty much how that works. Um, uh, for watering, uh, let's go ahead and do that real quick, I guess. If you want to do the water method. There's another mod I highly suggest get. It's called the Bore, uh, bore Water Kit. Um, um, yeah, the, um, uh, the Bore Insect, yeah. It's a, it allows you to build a uh, insect uh, pipe anywhere. It goes straight to the ground and taps into underground water. Because if you look, if you ever look under the map, it's all like uh, water under, underneath there. So yeah, so what we know here is we can place some. Uh, let's go put it. Let's put this like right here. That's got that's a water sink right there. Let's go make a, a few pipes real quick. Um, that didn't place. I didn't, yeah, I didn't, I didn't place. Okay. And let's see here. Where's the next pipe at? I know I made a cross split. Okay, maybe I didn't. Okay. Alright, that's being crafted out. Put that on the hot bar there. Let's place you. Now let's place that right there. Now let's get the tap. And now what we can do is here. And this, the difference here, it, it'll say irrigated once we put this in. I want to think about how door placement when you're doing this. So maybe put this in before we put the doors in. Now you hit Q so you get to the right spot you want. You know how arc snapping is. And there it is, and it's watering, and it says not irrigated, but it is irrigated. It's glitching right now. Now it says irrigated. It says irrigated. So you can have these, like, I could have put those on the very roof up here. Not the roof, but on the second floor above everything. And the water coming down will ir irrigate a certain area around. So, um, you can probably put one of these in between two plots. It should be good to go there. And it put more, it, it build up more fertilizer. You're good to go there, so we don't never have to. It uses the keeps a few spots open for your seeds and your crops to get put in. But your gardener's gonna pull those right back out again, so you never have to. You need stuff to uh, make stuff. If you're in your cooking thing, all you gotta do is uh, pull to uh, make what you need to make. I can get in here. There we go. And you put a ramp there. But I'm going here. So, for example, let's just make some more Italian soup. Uh, Italian soup requires lemons, berries, stimulant, all that kind of stuff. Let's go make ten of those. Uh, what? Uh, some. Well, there we go. And let's craft them up. Make some um, uh, health brews at the same time. But yeah, got all these dyes here. And we'll do another video on uh, cooking with S Plus in the future. And now I have. Ooh, I think I made these already. Put the, let me put them up and distribute these to the uh, these two guys here. Split half, put you in there, and we'll put you in here. Now we're good to go for like a week. Uh, yeah, probably a week. A week worth of uh, food right there. Propellant. I can go in here. I can pull more propellant if I need to. I got some right there. We'll pull 50. And boom, he's got more propellant. He's ready to go there. He's good to go. We got wool for uh, for a lifetime. Nothing over there. Um, yeah, I guess I got all my dinos over here. So they're all providing poop. Oh, one more thing. With the um, S Plus uh, mod with the pipes, what you can do is here, you can actually hold and hide. Or you can actually go to your tap and hold the E on the tap. It said hide connected pipes. And then you can actually hide the, um, um, the uh, I think you can hide this. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe you can't hide that. Now you can't hide those, but you can, and these actually, these S Plus taps have a bigger inventory than the other, uh, regular ones, I'm pretty sure. And, uh, this guy here, one risk about the board kit mod is uh, you can easily accidentally pick it up, demolish it, like I just did there. And that happens there, so, demolish this, don't need it anyways, because it's got water from the beehive, so you're good to go there. Yep, um, um... I said these, you might have to manually put thatch in. I was having issues and I went to pull the thatch sometimes. Uh, it should be pulling thatch. I don't know why it's not. At least S plus, the other S plus. Yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I hope this helped y'all out when you're gardening with using S plus. Um, uh, next week we'll be doing S, uh, cooking with S plus and going all over things with that and how to set that up and what, uh, the benefits of cooking with S plus versus doing vanilla. And all of that. And guys, if you liked this, if you liked this video, make sure you squish that like button. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And slap the notification bell for future videos coming out just like this one. And y'all, y'all have an awesome day.